It's a very long and winding road to get to the ancient spire for the Albany summits. But if you follow it around the mountain, you will eventually get here. Walk in and use the platform to go up to the first level. When I first land, instead of going forward, I'm going to turn around and go backwards. Take a right around this corner and find a button right here. I'm going to go back to where I started. Now I'm going to go out this way. You notice that there are spikes in the ground and notice that the ground on the right is ice. So it can easily slide you into those electric bolts if you're not careful. So just jump on the dirt or jump and jump again to stop your slide. We're going to ignore the electricity and come to the right, jump across these spikes and take another right where we find a button to push. After getting that button, we're going to go back this way again to avoid that electricity for the moment. Double jump over the spikes. Take a left over those spikes. And we're going to walk right up to this corner. We peek around on the right. We can see at the top there's a hook. So as soon as it goes past, double jump and go up. These beams are covered with ice, so instead of trying to walk over them, it's better to just kind of jump. Helps you keep your footing a little bit better. And you can see button number two right in front of us. Right there. Double jump over those spikes. And push button number two. Now turning away from the button, we're going to head back the other direction. And go to the left. So again, I'm going to jump as I go so I'm not sliding off all the way until I can stand on something that's not ice. I can see a button over there on the other end. So I'm going to hop, hop, hop. And push. Now that we got this one, we can go right back over here to these open doors. And up to the next level. Here we go. So you can see across the level, there are four lights on the wall over there. And if you look at the air, you can see there's a spiral of air taking you up. So I'm going to jump and use my glider to go to the next level. Be careful when you're doing this not to hit your updraft at the same time, or you'll end up way up there. Ask me how I know. Now I'm going to use the steam and I'm going to aim for that corner over there with the lantern. I'm going to start from over here on the side so I have a better angle on it. Drop down and fly so I didn't get too high. Here's a button. Okay, now we're going to the other corner and we have to avoid the electricity in the process. So I'm going to wait until the electricity first comes out of the holes on the right. As soon as it comes out, I'm going to jump. Go straight, go down, fly. There we go. Don't let the vent take you too high. Use your right mouse click to cancel your glider if you need to. And here's our next button. Now we're going to go straight across an upper level. In order to do this, I am going to use my airlift skill. So as, I, as soon as I see that top row of electricity that's going from left and right, hit the left side of my screen. I'm going to jump and airlift. And right click to get in so you don't get too high. And here's our next button. Now I'm going to come to this side and I see we're going to the diagonal again this time. 
You gotta be careful with this one not to hit that big chain hanging down in the middle. They'll knock you off. So I'm gonna be aiming just to the right of it and starting a bit more from the side. As soon as this top electricity balls gets in my vision, I'm gonna jump and go into the stream. and cancel and fly. And here we are. Here's our next button. Once you have all the buttons pushed, if you want to come back down to the first floor or come back in after and run back behind here, you will find a golden chest. We'll take this pad up. And voila, we made it. If you found any of this useful, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more Get to the Point Guides for Enshrouded. Until next time, happy gaming.